Okay, first off, since you don't have access to a healing spell yet, you'll want to carry six petals for sure. Nectar for emergencies, since it's so gosh darn expensive. I only have one. Definitely have some dog biscuits. Pixie dust you don't need, but in case something goes wrong, I carry one. Let's see. Level 5, level 6. 5 or 6 is okay. However, one thing is important. That needs to be at level 2. So you can deal so much more damage so much faster. Oh, I missed one. Oh, here we go. If you're feeling brave, if you're feeling brave, go after the claws, because they're worth a ton of experience if you can beat them. Damn it. Also, when you try to attack him, the claws tend to get in the way, so I deal with them. Just be careful. This is his attack you have to worry about. It can deal a lot of damage. Whoops. Don't want to do that. Also, the enemies that he spawns occasionally drop petals, so if you're kind of screwed for... Yeah, see? If, you're, if you ever get screwed out of petals, You'll have. Whoa, I need help. Whoa. You'll have enough to get through the battle, hopefully. It just becomes rather hard to deal with. That's another problem I run into when trying to get rid of the claws. Yeah. Don't use your petals on the dog. That's why you have four dog biscuits. Just be careful in general. That came at the wrong time. Ow! Since dog biscuits revive all your HP. Once you get rid of all the claws, once you get rid of both the claws, this battle becomes significantly easier. Because he's so difficult to approach without taking rid of the claws first. Also, they can give you free health if you need it, if you're close enough to another level. That's another reason why I take them out, is because they're worth so much experience. The left one should be... Ooh! That works. This is why you have to keep the dog alive, because this spell is deadly if you, uh, if you let the dog die. See? One, see, that's why I take the claws out, because you get a level, because you can get a level from it rather easily. Damn it, missed. And the claws don't even have that much life. They have like 200 life, I think. That's not very much. Damn it! I was about to hit him, too. There. 
shouldn't be too many more hits on that, and then I can finally start attacking the boss. Very important to keep your health up in this battle. There. Now he's dead. Well, the claws are dead, so I can freely attack the boss. That hurts. The weak, his weakness is his heart. You can, you can smash away at the rib cage, and you'll do minor damage. Open up the, open up the rib cage. Charge your weapon level two, and then smack him. Does a lot of damage. Sure, you take a little bit from his uh, screaming, but that's it. You don't take very much damage from that. You'll, you should be doing about 70 damage a hit. This battle is even easier if you level up your Bone Crusher all the way to level 3. hundred and six damage, that's a lot. And I need healing again. He doesn't really he doesn't really except for acid rain, his attacks really aren't that big a threat. There, he's dead. And you get your first axe.